Alright, alright, good morning everyone. So once again, this is Roberto do Mapic Almero and I am your Mapic teacher for today. And this time, I am going to voice over about the disease prevention and control. Those are the communicable diseases. So let's talk about communicable diseases. Communicable diseases are illness caused by viruses or bacteria that people spread to one another through contact with contaminated areas or surfaces, bodily fluid, blood products, insect bites, or through the air. Prevention and control of the communicable diseases have several implications and unnerving challenges not just to the governing government but to the marginalized sector as well. There, this has been a global health issues and concerns. To address and combat these health problems, several health protocols and policies have been enacted by the governing bodies. Thus, in this time of pandemic, with the emergence and re-emergence of the COVID-19, the topic or topics of the modules are very timely and somewhat related, related, rather, related rather, to what are, we are experiencing today and will actually be of great help not just to the students but to everyone in, this, in preventing the widespread of these communicable diseases. This module was crafted to aid the students grasp and learn the most essential competencies as listed below. So these are the following types of pathogens and each nature. So we have described first the pathogens. Pathogens, many of the most common diseases are caused by tiny microorganisms called pathogen. Next one is bacteria. Bacteria are one called micro, microscopic organism that rank among the most widespread of living things. <clears throat> Next one is toxin bacteria. Botulism is, the, is a food poison that live in the soil. <clears throat> Residental bacteria, this help us protect from harmful bacteria. Lactobacilli found in the gastrointestinal tract produce lactic acid from simple carbohydrates. So that is resident bacteria. Rickettsias. Rickettsias are organisms that are considered intermediate that is uh, somewhere between a virus and a bacterium and also when we say virus viruses are small simple like form for like form from one half of 100 the size of, bac of a bacteria yeah. are the human body's worst enemies attack specific types of cells next one is fungi fungi are sa saprophytes Saprophytes, simple organisms that cannot make their own food. Okay, let's have the protozoans. Protozoans are single-celled organisms that are larger than bacteria and have more complex circular structure. Next one is uh, parasitic worm. Okay, dentic worm and malaria. Just read it. Listen to this is to listen to already. So sexual sexually transmitted infections. The sexually transmitted infections or STI, also known as sexually transmitted disease or STD, is a communicable disease that is spread by pathogen. Diseases causing organism from one person to another person through exchange of body fluids during sexual contact. A person who has sexual relationship with someone who is infected can get one more or more of these diseases. Some STIs can be treated successfully but many STIs such as HIV or AIDS still have no cure but can be prevented. Sometimes depending on each person, some STIs, STIs don't have any signs or symptoms. Signs of symptoms and infected persons may experience the following. 
Big charge from dead genitals. Rush. Warts, pimple, urination. Blisters or sores in the genital area. Sec lastly, is the flu like symptoms. Acquired immune deficiency syndromes or AIDS is fatal communicable disease with no effective treatment or known cure. The final stage of infections caused by the human immunodeficiency virus or HIV. HIV enters the body, it attacks the body immune system. Infections are Kaposi's sarcoma, a rare but deadly type of skin cancer, recurrent uh, pneumonia, pneumonia rather, and toxoplasmosis within the brain. Nearly everyone with HIV develops AIDS. HIV can be found in the following body fluids, the blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk for infected person. Early symptoms are rush, sore throat, fever, and tiredness. So let's have proceed uh, to listen to me. The government agencies and policies on prevention and control of chemical diseases. Republic Act 8504, also known as the Republic AIDS Law, the Philippines AIDS Prevention and Controls Act of 1998 or RA-8504, uh, Singapore is the government's response to the treat of HIV or AIDS in the country. The Philippines National AIDS Council or PNAC shall oversee an integrated the comprehensive approach to HIV or AIDS prevention and control in the Philippines. RE7719 or the Blood Service of, of 1994, this law protects and promotes public health through provisions related to blood donation, the government promotes voluntary blood donations as humanitarian act. Several requirements are needed to ensure a clean and safe blood supply. This law lays down the legal principles that the provision of blood for transfusion is a professional medical service and not a sale of commodity. This establishes scientific and professional standards for the operations of blood collections units and blood bank skin centers in the Philippines. Trend of infections A is mode of transmission, B pathogen, C portal of entry, D portal of exit, E a reservoir, then F is susceptible host. So that's all for today for our topic in week 8 in our third quarter. So I hope in a long discussion or lesson, I hope you learned something from it. And also, if we have clarifications or doubts in your mind, you will post in this link for more information. And also, you may comment down below in the comment section so that um, I will be able to, to see and read um, your uh, your concerns and questions so that I will able to answer it with all the knowledge that I have. So once again, this is Roberto Dumapig Almirol and that's all for today and God bless us all. Goodbye and I love you all.